files you can import. Um, and that may, you'll need to play with it and make sure that still works um, because as, as it upgrades and stuff, I'm sure it'll get better. Uh, we're going to import a closed polygon. I'm going to just do it at rough and come in here and I'm going to select the, uh, let's go to logo folder objects, go to RCA logo, open it, and hopefully we can hit auto access drill and it'll work. Okay, and the, you can see there's our logo. Now what happened was, uh, there's a couple things about the Illustrator import EPS. Let me do it again. File, import EPS loader. Here's some options. You have rough, you have closed polygons, you have the file, auto axis drill. When you have like a letter A and there's the triangle at the top of the A where you can see through it, you need to activate auto axis drill so it will uh, knock that hole out. Um, if you do not have that active, it will just be the outline of the whole shape. So uh, you'll see, you'll notice when you import a letter like P and there's no loop in the middle, that's probably what happened. Um, so click that and we'll just go ahead and import. And there's our RCA logo. And of course it came in too big, but that's all right for what we're going to do now. Um, let's jump over to our uh, picture and see it looks like it's flat and then it kind of has a triangular or an edge to it and then it's flat again. Um, so let's try and uh, get something close to that. Remembering that this is going to be very small which is why I made it such rough geometry. Uh, we're going to do an extrude. We're going to go to construct multiply extrude and we're going to drag this down a little bit and what that does is that gives the logo some depth. Okay, that's what it looked like when it came in. Just a flat polygon, and when I extrude it, it gives it depth. All right, and that's a it's a pretty good start for what we want to do. I'm gonna give it a little bit because it's pretty. There's not much depth to it. It goes straight to the bevel, so I'm gonna just bring it a little bit like that. Then I'm going to select the polygon on the front and using bevel again I'm just going to hit B to bevel and I'm going to bevel it out and bevel it in and try and get a good 